Good morning. I think today's project is cleaning this barn out. We've got quite a dirty floor, and I know we've got some equipment and stuff stashed in here. Um, but I would like to move some stuff around and start using this for what we build it for, and storing clean equipment and keeping the dirt out of it and the oil off of the floor. So we might pull everything out of here, sweep the floor. I might power wash the floor and get all the dirt and dust off of it and then bring like the combine in here and this tank that is cleaned up and we are done with that we can leave in here and some of that other stuff. And, you know, as long as things aren't too dirty and muddy, we can put them in here, but uh, I would like to get it cleaned up. I'm thinking that's my plan. First here though, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of some boxes and break these down and uh, take them back down to the seed warehouse, get them ready to be returned. Once I get like I think 42 or 44 of them fills a semi truck, uh, then I can have them come pick up a load. So we've got a bunch down there now. Well, we got them all folded down and some of them stacked up. I need to go down and get my uh, trailer. Down there, truck and trailer, it's all hooked up. Just gotta get it. I had to pick up some whiny children. We gotta haul their gator to the farm. All right, let's go, boys. So Dad is actually gonna spray uh, wheat here this morning. Uh, spraying a product called Prosaro. It's for Fusarium head blight, head scab in wheat. Uh, you're supposed to spray it when the weed is actually flowering and pollinating, and that is today on some of it. And so him and Rylan are going to go do that. Brayson's going to come with me. We're going to take the last of these boxes down. And we got our shop cleaned up a little bit. We're making progress, albeit slowly. Phil is hauling corn today, apparently. So there can't be much left in the bins, but we still got a little bit of 21 corn. Well, we're starting to get a pile back in there. Getting closer, getting closer. Yeah. Done a bit since I drove this tractor. Power, still working on getting equipment moved out of this barn, so we're gonna move this planter and we're gonna put it in the back of the shop where all those boxes were, which is why we needed to move those boxes. And it's a process, we aren't gonna get this done today, I can tell you that. In the shop. What shop? The red shop. That shop? Yeah, that one. Well, it's going to take up both the front and the back. Oh, this is a sweet tractor, though. I do like this one. Yep, turn backwards and be very careful. I suppose we could pull that air seeder out of here once we get the other barn cleaned up and put it in there, too. That would free up a little space. You getting that? Yeah. Yep, take your time. One more step. Good job. That is a big step. Watch your head. All right, let's go see what else we can move back there. Well, now we're using the 8430. We grabbed the corn planter. We'll pull this out of here. And uh, we'll just park it out of the way for now. It needs, it needs cleaned up. I, I'm, I'm just about ready to say we can clean it up and then we're done planting corn, but there was still a chance of some replant, so uh, we're not quite there just yet. Dad? Grayson, what? let's go see how much corn's in our, in our grain bins yet. You think any of them have corn in them? How do you see it? We'll have to look in the doors. Okay, this one here's the wet bin. It didn't have very much corn in it to start with. You think there's any in here? I don't think so. Nope, it's empty. Wanna you want to see? Stand up there. See, it's empty. Okay, let's look in that bin. Nope, this bin is empty too. This is the GSI dryer bin. Wow. Empty. It's broken. Broken? It's not broken. What is that? That's the sweep auger. Okay, let's look in this bin. I bet there's no corn in here. You know how I know? Because this was a soybean bin. Empty. Palmer, it would be nice to have some soybeans in here. 
How about this, Ben? This one, the door is open already. I bet there's something in there. Oh, yeah. There's not a lot, but there's some corn in there. Probably, I don't know, four or five semi-loads, maybe? There's a lot. There's a lot, yep. Sweetwalker's been running, but there's not a lot. or uh, It's not empty yet. He's got three quarters of the circle to go around. Cool. And then you go that way, that way, all the way up there. Yeah. All right, we got one more bin to check over there, the big one. Look at this one, Brayson. It's huge. Yeah, it's huge. Think there's any corn in there? Whoa, there was a birdie in there. Where'd that come from? Bad spot for a bird nest. Whoops. Well, I don't see. No corn. It's empty. You need to see? Okay. Well, how many bins have corn in them, Grayson? One. Just one. But wait, we forgot a bin. What? You know, where's the other one that we missed? Can you tell? Oh, yeah, there's one up there. You think it has any corn in it? We don't have to climb up there to tell. We can just look at it. <laughs> there is corn in it. See those little uh, indicators on the side? Right there, that's yellow. And that one. And I think maybe the top. So that bin has got corn in it too. And if it's full, there's three semi loads up there. So we got, I don't know, five to 10,000 bushels around here. Because well, we're not climbing up there. I'm sorry, we're not climbing up there. Look, Grandpa's back. Well, oh, I'm sorry. Are you going to ride with Grandpa? Huh? Huh? I want to see. I'm sorry, we're not climbing up there. We could never see. We're not climbing up there. I'm not doing it. Not with a four-year-old. It's too dangerous. Four-year-old can't. No. Yeah. Uh, too dangerous. I want to go. I'm sorry. How's your sprayer ride? Good. Two more gallons of fuel. Two more gallons of fuel. Yeah. Oh no! Better fill it up. We need to. It's only one gallon now. Oh. We've switched kids. Let's see if he does it again. But I'll show you why. And that's part of it. Why we need new tires for a Gator. And I had to foam, foam fill them. Watch him. Watch him. Look at this. Jeez, Pete's kid. Got it out of his way, I guess. You're dangerous. Did that hurt? Uh-huh. He was spinning donuts over here. Look at him. Jeez, old beats, kid. There he goes. Aye, aye, aye. All right, well, I've got it set up to power wash. We still got some stuff in this corner. We'll worry about that later. We can start over there and do this half at least. And we'll see how it goes. So, Rylan's cruising around on his gator. Racing's way over there with Grandpa in the sprayer. So, yeah, everybody's occupied. Well, we're going to find out how good uh, extremely expensive automatic laser guided screed power screeds are. They keep in the water, or the concrete level, so the water doesn't pond. I'm sure there'll be some low spots, but it should uh, should clean up really well, especially, look at that, that sealer that they put on, water beads right up. So this will this will clean up really nice, I think. It won't take too long. It does, in fact, clean up really nice. There's some minor low spots where you can see here you get just a little bit of a pool of water, but I think we're talking about a sixteenth of an inch. I just haven't gotten rid of any water yet. It's all puddled up right here because it doesn't, there's no slope, it doesn't flow to the door. All right, Ryland came and found me because his gator battery died, so we gotta go rescue him. I'm getting quite a puddle of water here. We gotta get some out the door. He just wants to run back, but it's not because it's low, it's because there's so much of it and we just haven't made it to the door. There we go. Almost got the side done. Let's add a third of it, maybe. Okay. Well, I did three sections, or where they made cuts, all the way across the one side. Cleans up really nice. It looks great. You can see just tiny little, you know, there's a little bit more water here. There's some dirt. We gotta get that. We gotta get that. 
Um, yeah, so it's lunchtime. I'm going to go home and eat. We'll come back and we'll keep working across there. We are going to have to move that stuff out of the way, I think, but uh, it'll be okay. We'll get this clean. While I'm back, we're actually almost finishing up here. There seems to be just a little bit of a ridge in front of the door, the higher concrete, because the water does not want to go out the door. It wants to come back in and pond. It was worse, but I blew a bunch of it out. It's just going to take me a little while here, plus the dirt's heavier because I pushed it all over here. So We're getting there, then we got to deal with this corner. All right, so we've got the floor pretty well cleaned up except for that one corner there. We got to shuffle some stuff around. I want that combine over there because it's clean and we can store it for another month until we need to get it out for wheat harvest. Uh, we got a few other things that we can stash around in there, but we got to clean up these logs and dad's piles of wood. I want that sprayer that's up there goes in the back of the gator, so we got to get that down. Brock's probably going to want a hay wagon next week to make hay, so we're going to clean up the chemicals and stuff that are on there. Um, put some pallets, we'll stack them over there where the anhydrous bar was. Just shuffle some stuff around. Dad wants to unhook that century sprayer from the 7520. Brock had it hooked up last week because he was spraying alfalfa weevil while I was in the hospital and he took care of that. So, um, yeah, we just need to do a little rearranging here. Cleaning crew, moving crew. So we gotta get that combine started. What are the chances that it will start? It's been sitting there since late December, early January. I don't remember exactly when we parked it. Let's see if we were smart enough to hit the battery disconnect when we parked it. Yep, we were. So, I'll we'll flip it on. Let's go see if it'll start. Good signs. Wow. Cool deal. This is pretty nice, too. Dang, look at this. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, yeah. Driving a combine, even if it is only from one barn to another. New combine, pretty cool, huh? We're gonna go that way. Faster, you need to go faster. I don't need to go any faster. It looks so nice, I agree, it does look so nice. We're gonna try and back this one right in that corner. Let's see how I do well, here. Well, I'm gonna get out with it. Yeah, we're pretty close. <sighs> Sticks out into the doorway a little bit. This would probably be better in a back corner than a front corner, but I didn't want to bury it because, like I said, we need it in like a month. So I could have driven it in. It might have been a little bit better because then it's just the unloading auger sticking back and I guess I had a foot to come back yet. That's all right. It's good enough. I also didn't get it clear into the corner, but it'll work. We'll hit our disconnect again so that the battery's not dead a month from now. Phil's back, parking the truck in there. Stuff's cleaned out. We got our scaffolding taken down, stuffed in this corner where we keep it. We were getting there. I got that corner all cleared out inside there. Now we can finish power washing. I am over on the other side and I hear, Dad, Dad, Rylan's gonna start the tractor up. Sure you are, let's see it. Go, do it. I'm not telling you how to do it, you do it. It's not out of fuel. You don't know how to start it. What, Brayson? Do birds and mice poop in here? Yeah, probably. There's lots of bird and mice poop in here. Where's the mice? I don't know. They're, they're hiding. Turn them the other way. Okay. Would it start up? No. How do you turn it off? I'm not telling you. See, you don't know how. Yeah, don't turn it on. It'll run down the battery. There. Look at that. It's clean. Ish, but clean. I mean, we did pretty good. There's a little ponding dirty water in a couple of spots. There's, there's a trench right there, and there's another one right in front of the door, and there's just a little bit of a hump, which makes it hard for the water to flow out, but it's okay. It will not probably ever get wet again, or at least it'll be a long time before we feel like we need to power wash this floor again. So uh, now we just need some clean equipment to put in here. <laughs> a couple planters, an air seeder maybe, some tractors. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Didn't even take a $12,000 floor scrubber to get it clean. It'd be drier if I had used that, but, you know, it's all good. 
All right, well, I put the uh, seed tenders back in there. I put the uh, bean one in the shop and the one I used for corn in the back there. Um, we could use that Travis one for beans if necessary um, and might, so I don't know. I, otherwise, I could clean it up and put it away, but I don't know if we'll want to use it for beans or not, so I just put it in there for, for now. Dad's cutting logs again. It's 5 o'clock Friday, Memorial Day weekend. I'm done. I'm quitting. There are some scattered rain showers around the area. We'll see what happens tonight. Hopefully we miss it and uh, things start drying out. Maybe by Monday, Tuesday, we could be back in the fields, especially down to Berkey. We only had uh, about four tenths of an inch of rain there so far since we got rained out, was that yesterday, two days ago, uh, where we've had nine tenths here. So uh, maybe we can get there and get the beans planted and the corn side dressed and all of that. It would be great. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions and comments, leave them down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. Check out farmfocus.com, Waterview Farms for merch. And have a great Memorial Day weekend, everybody. And thank you to all of those of you that have served in our armed forces. I know, it's not Veterans Day or Armed Forces Day, it's Memorial Day, but thank you anyway. <laughs> the cousins have come for the visit. I'm <laughs> going <laughs>